Good morning, welcome back. We are still solving simultaneous equations and we have to use the substitution method. Yeah, so two equations, solving them simultaneously yeah, at the same time, have to use substitution method. And for this particular question, I'm also going to make two videos. Yeah, I'm going to do this question twice and in um, each video I'm going to use a slightly different approach, yeah, but still the substitution method. Because I want to give you as many tools as I can, uh, so you really understand what you're doing. Because then there's nothing to fear or to remember. Okay, substitution method. So I've got to pick one equation and a variable, and I make the variable um, the subject then of that equation. Um, and always take a moment to think about that. What shall I make the subject? Now, I mean, you're completely free to choose whatever you want. But I choose the first equation and I'm going to make y the subject. Because it's already 1y, so I don't have to divide at the end. Okay. Here, of course, it's also minus 1y, but it's a negative, so that involves one more step to make y the subject. So that's why I picked the first equation, 5x plus y equals 29. I'm going to make y the subject, so that's going to be 29 minus 5x. Okay, I hope. You understand now why it's 29 minus 5x. Just going to put a little box around that. Of course, I'm not finished, but I have to substitute that now. That's why I call it the substitution method. I've got to substitute this information in the other equation. Okay, so let me write down the other equation, which is 5x minus y equals 1. And then I say, well, y equals 29 minus 5x. Okay, I'm going to substitute that minus, I always use those brackets. So instead of y, yeah, because these are the same y's, I'm going to write down now 29 minus 5x, and that still equals 11. Okay, now I have one equation with one unknown, which is x, so I can solve that, no problem. However, take care in your workings, because minus 1 times 29, that is minus 29, and please calm down, minus 1 times minus 5x, that is a positive 5x, a positive 5x, and so many of you are going to rush and say, oh, minus 5x, because you're so excited about the whole question. Yeah, that's good to be excited, but calm down, minus 29, and minus, minus 5x, that's a positive 5x, okay? That's why I always put those brackets there as an extra step. Okay, so to make sure I don't make that silly mistake. It's such a shame if you do. All right, 5x, I'm gonna simplify that, plus 5x, eh? the sign belongs to the term, the minus sign belongs to the 29, it's got nothing to do with your x's. 5x plus 5x, that will be 10x minus 29 equals 11. Okay, now I'm going to rearrange it. I want to get rid of this negative 29 here. How do I do that? by doing the opposite operation, plus 29. Yeah, on both sides then, of course. Eh? I'm gonna continue here. So 10x equals 11 plus 29. 10x equals 14. So what is x going to equal? What is x going to equal? Yeah, you already know it, eh? very good. Because the opposite uh, operation, inverse operation, is dividing, eh? that's how I get rid of that 10, 10 times x, so I divide by 10, x equals 40 divided by 10, take out the common factor, 10, 4 divided by 1, that is 4. You already knew that, fantastic. x equals 4, am I done? No, I am not done, because I am interested in x, fantastic, but I also want to find out y. Well, it says that y is the same as 29, but I'm going to take away 5x's. Eh? Now, if x is 4, then y is 29 minus 20. So y is 9. And I've said x is 4. So that is my solution. y is 9 and x is 4. Now, what I always say, check your work, because then you know that you are correct, then you can feel confident and good about yourself. So we're going to check it. It doesn't take very long. Uh, invest those 20 seconds of your life. Let's have a look. They say 5x. So 5 times 4, which is 20, yeah, plus y, so plus 9, and that should equal 29. 
20 plus 9 indeed is 29. So that first equation, I can put a big tick there for myself. And the second one, because we have to check both of them. Eh? 5 times x again, 5 times 4, so that is 20. Now we're going to take away y, 9, and that should equal 11, it says. 20 minus 9 is indeed 11. So now it is time to high-five myself because I found a solution. I've, I've, I've worked out, I've written out all my workings. The only correct solution for this, or for these equations, and uh, solving them simultaneously is for y is 9 and x is 4, and both of them are correct. Okay, well done. I'm going to give you one more um, example. It's going to involve the exact same question. I'm going to take a slightly different route in solving that one. So uh, do yourself a favor, have a look at that one as well. See you soon.